Today we're here with Penny Verkeest. She owns the New Zealand Skincare Company and she has a very interesting story about the power of forgiveness in business. As you know from previous blogs, we teach about the importance of forgiveness. But when I heard Penny's story, I thought you needed to hear this because here is a practical application of the power of forgiveness. Penny, welcome to our blog. Thank you. We have about 5,000 viewers who want to hear your story oh, of good. what happened when you forgave. Right. Well, um, it started um, back when we had some skincare products that we were um, making and we had some labels um, manufactured for our um, skincare products and unfortunately the, the manufacturer who um, made the labels didn't put a laminate on them so all the labels started peeling and so unfortunately we got into a situation where we had to either get them reprinted. How big was this problem? Like how many items or what was the value of the mistake? It was about $20,000, so it was quite significant. And we also had products that we had sent to Japan and sent to the UK at the time that um, we didn't know the labels were peeling and the products were already like in different locations. So, so not only was this a financial problem, but this was actually an embarrassment that you had shipped defective products. Absolutely. And it meant that we then had to replace stock and then refreight it back. So logistically, it was a nightmare as well. Um, and so we went to the, um, the the label manufacturer and we said to them, look, you know, this is the situation. And they acknowledged that it, it was an error and it was their mistake. But basically they said to us that we would have to take legal action against them. Which... So they refused to take ownership of the mistake and fix it. Absolutely. Um, which was really disappointing because we were just a small company. We were just emerging. We were really excited because we'd got a couple of really good overseas orders. And so this was kind of our big break in, um, into exporting. Um, and it was all kind of going pear-shaped quite quickly. Um, and so we did have to enter into um, legal negotiations with them. Um, and then it got to the point where we were sort of coming to a real standstill and nothing was really happening. And I just felt God really speak to me about, you know, that that I could just let it go and it would be fine, which is quite an unusual thing to do in business yeah. when you're trying to totally get... Totally unbusinesslike. Totally unbusinesslike. And so I, I spent a lot of time praying about it and, and talking with, you know, other people and, and just it felt really unnatural um, to do it. It just And even to talk about it to other people, you know, to tell our accountant that I was just going to let it go and drop it and just um, seemed really bizarre. And, and, and I think they probably thought I was going a little bit crazy at the time. Um, and so I did that. And, and then after talking to uh, another couple of people, we decided that we would actually send them a letter um, and tell them that we were we were going to forgive them and that we didn't want to continue with any um, legal action and that you know we hoped that that the business would prosper and, and that mm. ours would as well. Um, and it was amazing because the sense of relief and the weight and um, just seemed to disappear overnight. Like it was just really incredible. And also too, it just really um, put our focus back on the things that God wanted us to really focus on rather than being distracted by, you know, all the other things that were quite negative and quite horrible as well. That, that took courage. It did. Because everyone else in business would say, you have to dig into the negatives. You had rights that you could fight for. Yeah, absolutely. And we had, you know, we had a good case. I mean, it was, it was a, a, a sh you know, closed, case basically mm -hmm. it was you know they had made a mistake so if we had taken it to, to a court or further you know we would have won it but um, yeah we just it was really important for us to listen to what God was saying and and subsequently we've been immensely blessed you know we've we've um, now got a, a certified organic manufacturing factory which um, you know kind of just was such a blessing to us and, and the and the doors that have opened in business and the and the opportunities that have been given to us, you know, as a direct result. And subsequently, you know, um, we've used that um, that method with other people as well, with other companies that have, you know, not paid us and things like that, but just, you know, chosen to, to forgive them and it and it's a really it's a really peaceful place to be. Actually. So you've actually forgiven other companies that had wronged you since then? Sure. And then you continue to get blessed more and more? Definitely, yeah. So, wow. And it just, it feels like a really powerful place to be because instead of kind of always being at the mercy of, of what other people are doing to you or what other people um, choose to act like in business, you know, we've decided to take a standpoint and that's a biblical standpoint and stand on the principles of God and that puts us in a in a in a peaceful controlling so the the events of what other people do don't affect us the same wow. way. Wow. 
Wow, so yeah. you're above the circumstances or you Absolutely. come in the opposite spirit. Absolutely. Actually. Wow, what a story. She had every right to go after these people, chose to forgive them, and then their business was blessed over and over. That's amazing. But what a practical application of the spiritual power of forgiveness. Now, if this is your first visit here, then you need to get my free self-assessment guide. And to do that, just subscribe to my weekly email newsletter by filling out the subscription form, which is still right there. Okay, I'm in New Zealand, but the form is still in the same spot. And I'll talk to you again next week, but this week, practice the spiritual power of forgiveness. And also, in the text below the video, you, there's a link to the New Zealand skincare company. And so you can actually make contact with Penny and see all the products that she has available that are available throughout the world by mail order. So if you want to stay in touch with a Christian company that actually lives its principles, click on that link. I'll talk to you next week.